Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this morning. Topic for this morning: the platform of wisdom and humility. Topic: the platform of wisdom and humility on that series. The capital platform for showers of grace. Host: One Hundred Twelve. Look at Kefas. Text taken from Book of Proverbs, Chapter Twenty Four, from Verse Three to Five. Let's pray before we begin. Father, we thank you for the bread and the We count it a great privilege to be alive this morning. We come to hear your word. Father, we are speak to us and grant us understanding. We said in Psalm chapter 65, verse 4, Blessed is the man who that chooses and causes to approach unto thee, that will dwell in your court, and that you show us the goodness of your house. Father, today, grant us understanding of your word, and grant us grace to become doers of your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Topic one more time. The platform of wisdom and humility. Or that series, the capital platform for showers of grace. Host my humble self, Luke Kephas, taken from the book of Proverbs 24, 3 to 5. Heard it from verse 3. Through wisdom. Through wisdom is a house builder, and by understanding is it established. Verse 4 said, And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Verse 5 said, A wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. But the Lord bless his word and grant his understanding in Jesus' name. For that reading, 1 Kings chapter 10, from verse 4 to 27. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom and the house that he has built, and the meat, of his table and the sitting of his servant and the attendance of his ministers and their apparel and his copiers and his ascent by which he went up into the house of the Lord and there was no more spirit in her. She heard that the man was wise. She went to tempt him. She saw greater things. Verse 6 says, And she said to the king, It was a true report that I have heard in my own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believe not the words until I came. And my eyes have seen it, and behold, the half was not told me. Their wisdom and prosperity, wisdom and what prosperity, they go hand in hand. Wisdom and prosperity exceeded, exceeded the fame which I have heard. But nice said, Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loved Israel forever. Therefore made he thee king to the judgment and justice. And she gave the king a hundred and twenty talents of gold and spies, great store and all that. You can read all of that down to verse 27. Verse 24 said, And all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. All the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. I pray the Lord will put wisdom in your heart in Jesus' name. Verse 27 said, And the king made silver to be in Israel as stones, and cedars made he to be as the sycamore trees that are in the vial for abundance. Proverbs chapter 9 from verse 1 to 5 said, Wisdom has built her house. She had hemmed out her seven pillars. She had killed her bees. She had mended her wine. She had also furnished her table. She had sent forth her maidens. She carried, she cried upon the highest place of the city. Verse 4 said, Whoso is simple, let him turn in eater. eater. As for him that wanted understanding, she said to him, Come, eat of my bread. In verse 5. Drink of my wine, which I have made. Luke chapter 2, from verse 40 to 47. And the child grew and walked strong in spirit, filled with wisdom. And the grace of God was upon him, referring to Jesus. I pray the Spirit of God will be upon you, the Spirit of wisdom, and the grace of God will also be upon you in Jesus' name. Verse 42 said, And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days, in verse 43, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph, his mother, uh, knew not of it. Joseph and his mother knew not that Jesus was not in their company and was 44. But they, supposing him to be in the company, went a day's journey and they sought him among their kinsfolks and acquaintance. And in verse 45, and when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him, and it was 46. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. Verse 47, and all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers, 12 years old. And verse 48, and when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why have thou done this to us? And he replied, I must be about my father's business. You can read uh, Luke chapter 4 from verse 31 to, 40 to 40, 37. And he came down to Capernaum, the city of Galilee, and taught them in the Sabbath day. And they were all astonished about statue at his doctrine, for his word was with power. You can read all of that story down to verse 37. May the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding in Jesus' name. Topic one more time the platform of wisdom and humility under the series, the capital platform for showers of grace. Host, my humble self, Luke Kefas, taking a book of Proverbs 24 from verse 3 to 5. 
which we've read with further reading. First Kings chapter 10 from verse 4 to 27, Proverbs 9, 1 to 5, uh, Luke 2, 40 to 47, Luke 4, 31 to 37. Please at the leisure time, you can read the scriptures again, and I'm sure you'll be blessed as you read them in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blowing word for this morning is a true wise man. I take it again, a true wise man will naturally be humble, and his humility will naturally attract great grace. I take that again. A true wise man will naturally be humble, and his humility will naturally attract great grace. Think about it. Today we'll look at the topic, the platform of humility, wisdom and humility, on that teaching series on the capital platform for showers of grace. By introduction, let's understand that an atmosphere of divine wisdom will always be an atmosphere of great grace and humility. Wisdom is just the appropriate application of the Word of God. The Word of God is the wisdom generation bank. Until one have access to God's word, he can't have access to God's wisdom. And until one have access to divine wisdom, he can't have access to humility as well. I'm talking about humility of the heart. And certainly, until one is truly humble, he can't see showers of grace. And I pray the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of humility, will fill your heart. And you have abundance of grace, with testimony of grace to show in Jesus' name. Let's go to chapter 31 from verse 1 uh, down to 6. Talking about the men that God have embedded the spirit of wisdom upon, God was telling Moses, he says, seek for Ahithophel, seek for the people that have put the spirit of wisdom, let them do the work of the kingdom, said, and the Lord spoke unto Moses, he said, I have called by name Bezali, the son of Uri, the son of Ru of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the spirit of wisdom with the Spirit of God in wisdom and understanding, verse 3, and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship, said in verse 4, to devise cunning works, to walk in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones, to set them and in caving of timber, to walk in all manner of workmanship. And I also have given with him Aholia, the son of Ahishamash of the tribe of Dan, and in, and in the heart of all that are wise that I have put wisdom that they might make all that I have commanded thee. So they are the men that God has embedded wisdom on. And I pray today the spirit of wisdom will come upon you in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 35, from verse 30 down to 35, and Moses said unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord called by name Bezali, the son of Uri, the son of Hur of the tribe of Judah. He had filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship, and to devise corny works, to work in gold to devise curious work to walk in gold and in silver and in brass and in the cutting of stones to set them in caving said verse 34 and he had put in his heart that which he may teach both he and Holia the son of Ahishamach of the tribe of Dan said then had he filled with wisdom of heart to walk all manner of work I pray the spirit of wisdom come upon you afresh in Jesus name Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 to 27 therefore whoso heareth the sins of man and doeth them I would like him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock, and the rain descended, and was twenty-five, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth the sayings of man, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and of course it fell, and great will be the fall of it, but that will not be our portion. In Jesus' name, James 1, 22, 25 said, For be ye doers of the word, and all ye are as only deceiving your own self. For if any be a hearer, and not a doer, and not a doer, is like unto a man beholding a natural face in a glass. And straight away he went and forget what manner of man he looks like. That will not be our portion. In Jesus' name. Very quickly, what's the capital platform for showers of grace? We saw three points as well. So the first point, the platform of God's spirit, which is the anchor, which is the foundation of every other platform. We saw another point, the platform of divine knowledge. And we saw another vital point is that the platform of faith. Please, I want to beg you at a leisure time to reference all of the teaching series on this platform. I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. One more time, what was the capital platform for showers of grace? We're dwelling on the, the platform of wisdom and humility. One more time, we're dwelling on what? The platform of wisdom and humility, which simply means that we have to seek and create an atmosphere of divine wisdom and rightly apply the word of God in all ramification of our lives. In First Kings chapter 3, from verse 4, uh, 4 down to uh, 14, you can see talking about Solomon. It says, Solomon loved the Lord his God, and he went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, and he sacrificed in Gibeon. 
And the Lord appeared to him. The Lord asked him, what do you want? He said, I want a wise and an understanding heart. You've made me king. I'm not about a little child. And the Lord gave him that which he requested. Verse 10 said, and the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And the Lord said unto him, in verse 11, because I have not Thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast thou asked for riches for thyself, nor hast thou asked for the life of your enemies, but have asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Say, so Behold, I have done according to thy word in verse 12. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there, there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any rise like unto thee. Verse 30 said, And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor so that there will be not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt walk in my ways, in verse 14, to keep my status and my judgment and my commandment, as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. Proverbs chapter 4, 5 to 13 said, Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, she shall keep thee. Said in verse 7, Wisdom is principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, verse 8, that she shall promote thee, she shall bring thee to honor. When thou dost embrace her, verse 9 says, She shall give the head an ornament, of, an ornament of grace, an ornament of grace, a crown of glory, shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my saying, and the saying, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in the right path. You can complete that scripture down to verse 13. Luke chapter 2 verse 40. The child grew and increased in wisdom. I pray you also increase in wisdom in Jesus' name. John 8, 3 to 11. As the stripes and the Pharisee brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, in verse 4, they said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses, in the law, in verse 5, commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? They said, A trap for Jesus. Look at how wisdom bail him out. In verse 6, this they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus took down with his finger rolled on the ground as though he heard them not. He had them not in verse 7. So when they continued asking him, he lifted himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And in verse 8, and again he stooped down and rode on the ground. And in verse 9, and they which had it were being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing in the midst, and Jesus had lifted himself up and saw none but the woman he said unto her woman why are those accusers had no man condemned thee and in verse 11 she said no man lord and jesus said unto her neither do i condemn thee go and sin no more second timothy 2 15 study to show that i approved unto god as a workman they know to be ashamed but rightly dividing the word of truth and that is wisdom when you rightly divide and apply the word of truth the word of god then you are a wise man may the lord bless his word in jesus name one more time our subtopic was the capital platform for shares of grace and we said it is the platform of wisdom and humility when father said it simply means that we have to seek and create an atmosphere of divine wisdom and rightly apply the word of god in all ramification of our lives as we've seen in the case of jesus where he applied the word in truth Solomon is also there. So many in First Kings chapter three from verse four to fourteen, you can read that the account of Solomon, and First Kings chapter ten from verse four to twenty-seven, how the queen of Sheba came uh, to test Solomon with hard question, but he gave her all the answers. He gave her everything that she requested for. When she saw his wisdom, the Bible said there is no more spirit in her. What she heard in her hometown was far lesser than what she came and saw with her eyes. You can read Proverbs chapter 4, 5 to 13, uh, Luke chapter 2, 40, John chapter 8, from verse 3 to, 8, uh, to 11, and 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Lastly, as the book of Proverbs rightly said in Proverbs 4, 7, said, Wisdom is a principal thing that in all that getting get understanding, meaning that the summary of what a man should desire and acquire in life should be divine wisdom, causing wisdom in peace. In what? In divine wisdom is what? Is peace. In divine wisdom is what? A long life. Is what? Is love. Is humility. Is wealth. 
his riches, his honor, his glory, and so many more. This wisdom brings men to divine honor and grace before God and before men. No one can enjoy showers of grace without first creating an atmosphere of wisdom and humility. Of course, we should know that we cannot assess wisdom if we are not student of God's word because faith or wisdom comes by hearing and by hearing the word of the Lord. Let's pray down divine wisdom and study God's word into this wisdom dimension that we're talking about. However, with our true salvation in Christ, our prayers for wisdom, our studies for wisdom, uh, hanging around wise people is just a waste of time. And as such, I call you to accept Jesus in truth and spirit so you can be baptized and you could be inoculated with the spirit of wisdom. And that wisdom we have proofs and evidences to show in every aspect of your life in Jesus' name. Remember the man Joseph in Genesis chapter 41 from verse 1 down to 49 because of time I may not be able to read. Down to verse 15 said, we all knew that Pharaoh had a dream. He needed interpretation. No one could interpret it. And uh, one of his servants in the house remembered there was a guy who interpreted a dream in the prison and you brought me out. So let's go fetch him. And he brought uh, Joseph out of the dungeon in verse 15 and Pharaoh said unto Joseph I have dreamed a dream and there is none that can interpret it and I heard say of thee that thou can understand a dream and interpret it and verse 16 and Joseph answered and said to Pharaoh it is not in me but God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace and after war Joseph gave Pharaoh the interpretation of the dream and the solution he said and the food shall be stored for the land against the seven years of famine which shall be the land of Egypt. So there's going to be seven years of abundance, people will waste, people will scatter, and it's going to be seven years of great famine, and that's seven years of grievous famine. And Pharaoh said, take charge of my house. And that was how, by wisdom, Joseph became the second in command in the land of Egypt. In verse 42, and Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph and array him in virtues of fine linen and put a gold chain upon his neck. For 46, and Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. And in seven years of plenty, he gathered so much. Why? Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom found a place for him. Acts the Apostles chapter 7, verse 10. And delivered him out of his affliction and gave him favor and wisdom inside of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. I pray as you are being baptized with the spirit of wisdom today, wisdom will set you on high. No more foolishness around you in Jesus' name. Colossians, Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalm and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord Jesus. You will encounter grace in Jesus' name. John 3, 1 to 5. There was a man I called named Codemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher. Come from God, for no man can do these miracles. That thou doest, except God be with him. But three said Jesus, as I said unto him, Very, very, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And I say to you, except you are born again in truth and the spirit, except you walk right before Jesus, you might not be able to see God at the end of your journey. And that will not be your portion in Jesus. Then I want to pray with you. If you want to accept Jesus in truth and the spirit, and you want a fresh baptism of spiritual wisdom, you want to walk in wisdom, men will see practical wisdom, tangible wisdom in your life. I want to pray with you. Place your hand on your chest, bow your head, and repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. I know I have for sure of your glory. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Wash me with your blood and purify me. Write my name in the book of life. I let my name be erased from that book forever in the name of Jesus. Grant me a new spirit, a new heart to serve, to please your days of my life and baptize me afresh with the spirit of wisdom. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Congratulations to you. Pray that prayer. Let's take your prayer and shut down first prayer. Father, grant me that wisdom today and empower me to grow in this wisdom for my enrichment in the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 2, verse 40, referring to Jesus. And the child grew and walked strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Father, Grant me thy wisdom today and empower me to grow in the, in this wisdom for my engracement in the name of Jesus. Father, grant me thy wisdom today and empower me to grow in this wisdom for my engracement in Jesus' name. Last prayer, Father, pour out your spirit of wisdom and humility upon the saints of God across the world for great grace testimonies in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 31 from verse 1 to 3. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezali, the son of Uri. 
said, I have filled him with the spirit of wisdom, with the spirit of God and wisdom and understanding and the knowledge and all manner of workmanship. Let's pray for our brothers and for our sisters out there. Say, Father, pour out your spirit of wisdom and humility upon the saints of God across the world for great grace testimonies that will draw many to Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, pour out your spirit of wisdom and humility upon the saints across the globe for great grace testimonies in Jesus' name. Thank you for this time. For Jesus' name, we pray. Join me, pray this prayer. Share this gospel. I'm the blessed from intercession ministry. God blesses you tomorrow as you continue this teaching series. God bless you in Jesus' name.